So I just finished playing Carrion, a uh, game by Devolver Digital, uh, from such fame as Back for Blood and Into the Gungeon and Human Full Flat. Holy shit, they've made some good games. Yeah, and Humankind, holy moly. It's from, from such fame as that. And then we play Carrion. It was a good game. It was all right. I just felt a lot of the time like the, it was an incomplete idea. There were so many concepts that could have been expanded. I mean, it was a very short game. It took me all of like three to four hours to play the entire thing. Of course, I didn't 100% it and all that, but the 100% route, I'm assuming, maybe takes an additional hour or something. Probably most of that hour spent trying to find your way around because there's no map and it's a pretty big area. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to find your way around in this game. That's one of the things that I really disliked was the fact that there was no map. I mean, even just a basic style map or something like that would have been very interesting but and useful. But uh, here we are. So Carrion has you play as the monster. Ooh. Uh, one of those games where you play as the bad guy and kind of go to world domination, killing everyone and all that. And it was pretty fun. I enjoyed the concept. I would have liked to see a hero character kind of evolving with us throughout the entire game and then it be a final boss of sorts. But in the end, there wasn't really a final boss. It was kind of boring, actually. The, the ending was really just kind of came out of nowhere. Like, oh, hey, uh, you consume this and now you can look human and then you just leave. Done. That That's it. Game over. Go Go kill the rest of Seattle, I guess. <sighs> but no, uh, the game was all right. The graphics wise, just good. I mean, it's a pixelated game. So like, it's not like it won't be able to run on literally every machine ever. The game, the gameplay was good. There was one other thing besides the map that I was mildly frustrated at. And, uh, you basically have three forms, uh, small, medium, and large. Uh, and each form can do different abilities. So sometimes you have to go and you have to like deposit your biomass to uh, go to a smaller form to try and uh, use some of those abilities to solve some of the puzzles. And I don't know, I wasn't a huge fan of that. I kind of felt like it was a mechanic just put in there to try and make it seem like the puzzles were difficult, but the puzzles were not difficult. The combat wasn't difficult. Like the only times I died in this game was when I was not paying attention and just kind of ran into fire, uh, which is probably the strongest uh, attack you're ever going to come up against. But other than that, it really wasn't that much of a, of a issue. It was a nice game to just kind of play and relax, and and uh, the sound is nice. The crunching of bones is certainly something that is an interesting sound, and the the screams of dying people very interesting. But uh, the sound wasn't amazing. I mean, the the track was good, but it's not Ori levels of wonderful uh, sound design. I saw I sound like I'm really shitting on this game. I did actually enjoy it, but. I just feel like there was a lot of stuff missing. It was a very, very small game, very small game, especially from a company like Devolver, who usually makes much bigger and grandiose games. But uh, yeah, that's Carrion. Finished in like three hours, and uh, I'll give it a 6 out of 10, slightly above average. Thanks for watching this uh, review. Sorry, it was a little more chaotic and unscripted than it usually is. I just thought it was a really small game. Didn't want to sit here and write a whole ass script for it. I just wanted to talk about it literally five minutes after I finished it. Just let you guys know what my opinions were on the spot, as it were. But thank you for watching. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please comment, like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.